for the Cup. Now, hi everybody here. Let the Stanley Cup play. The Wild have put themselves down a man, tripping the call. Well, as both teams take in for the face-off here, just moments away, it's our first opportunity to look at the power play unit here. First power play opportunity of the game, and also a chance to dictate pace if they can go ahead in this one. Well, this is just a great shot. It's a long-range wrister from distance here, James. It's also about the stick technology to be able to lean into it. That kind of flex and then fire it just buries it. The Wild have struck quickly, and there's still a relatively clean sheet of ice out there. Yeah, it's early in the first period here, and you can see that they just have that sense of urgency, James. It's almost as if they said, yeah, we know we're in your barn. We're going to come at you right away. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Oh, the stick collapses on the plate. That's got to be so frustrating. Extremely frustrating, James. I know my dad would say they don't make them like they used to, but that <laughs> is a critical time to have it snap in half. Buffalo's got the puck against the boards. Stuffs them with a glove. This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving, a reason why he can get square to it and make the save. Another face-off looming here on this power play. They take possession as he locks him up off the face-off. Grandland's lugging the puck. Minnesota's got it in the offensive zone. Quick feed down low. Grabbed along the board by Niederreiter. Takes the puck. Quick pass to Spurgeon. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Buffalo's coaches will not be liking that power play opportunity as they fail to convert and give up a shorthanded one. The big question here, James, is what are you going to do next? You gave up a shorter, you got to find a way to get back in the game. What I mean by that is you have to reset, not just physically, but emotionally and mentally, and get back on.
place to compete to find it. Let's get the call. Well, when you're looking for a goal, being shorthanded is not ideal. You're also killing valuable time where you can be pressed. the zone. Tries to get it to the rider. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Slides it across. And he's got the answer for that one. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Burns doesn't miss often when he gets the chance to unload his powerful one-timer, guys. His 1T zone ability is that signature shot that terrorizes the tendies. Puck grab by Burns. Here's a short pass to Spurgeon. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. Good clearing attempt to breathe. Hard hit frees up the puck. And here's the pass to Burns. Minnesota's got the puck against the half wall. Tries to get it out of the zone. Gets it out of his own end. And now it's grabbed by Burns. The Sabres gain possession of the defensive zone. Tried to make a move and the puck hops away. Middlestad's such a great player, James. He's got great hands and in tight skill, but just that extra move there, it's a tricky one, and he gets lost in it. Quick stop! Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Both sides are evened up now as the power play expires. Well, the PK does a great job, and when you kill a penalty, you create momentum. Great start there. Picked off by Tuck. Buffalo's been working hard all night, James. They've been intercepting pucks at a great stick position, and it's been a defensive clinic. They've got to find ways to get to the other side of the puck and generate some offense. Nearing the midway mark of the period, we got a 1 0 game to this point. Randlin's won the draw inside his own end. Sweeps it on net, turns it aside with the glove. Centers glide into the dot as a face-off ready to resume play. The Sabres win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Along the right wall and into the offensive end. The Sabres take possession in the defensive end. Vanek swooping in on the attack. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. But he's got such a slick set of hands. He's trying to manipulate his opponent one by one, but he tries one too many, James, and he loses the puck. Bromlin's been tripped up, and we got a penalty coming up here. And there's the whistle stopping the play. Not a great penalty to take. I mean, you're down a goal. You're trying to fight to get back in this game, and now you find yourself shorthanded.
up here. Not a good one in the eyes of the officials boarding the call. The Sabres send their man advantage unit out once more. Well, that's a tough one to take when you're five on three, but you still have a huge opportunity four on three, and this is where coaching comes in. You have to know how to send up players out there. Moves it quickly over to Scandal. chances that they did get. Hey, sometimes it doesn't go in, but if they continue that, you got to figure their numbers are going to go up. Takes the boat, but still hangs on to the puck. Turn that chance aside. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Stalls recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the face-off. From off the wing, he comes up with it with both centers scrummed up. They go on the attack through center. The Wild have the puck while under man. Quick pass to Stahl. Back to the blue line. Too many bodies in the way. Moves it over to Housley. Hunterbuck standing up, ready to go. Stahl's got it in the offensive zone. The Sabres power play has expired. Both teams now back at even strength. And all the land on the breakaway. Oh, and the defender had a different idea there. Well, he thought he had it. And then the defender comes out of nowhere wide, jumps to the puck fight. And he rings the post. Minnesota's continuing to push the pace of play in this game. They've been aggressive in the offensive zone. They do have the lead, but they wanted the extra cushion there, but unfortunately went off the post and out. Here in the late goings of the period, Minnesota's... A solid hit. Slides it to Burns. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. Oh, gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. And that's just out of reach. Gaining steam here on the attack. Gains it over on the attack. And the defenders come up with the puck. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Here's a short pass to Ho. And he moves the puck back inside his own end. The Sabres have it now. Tries to get it over to Jost. And now he moves it to Johnson. And he takes the dish. Turns it aside. Minnesota's got a hold of it against the wall. Off the wall and right to the stick. Nice play. First period almost in the books here during the final 60 seconds. Great heads up play to poke it away in the offensive end. Here they come on the attack down the right side. What a steal in his own end. Slides it across to Heatley. All right, there's the end of period number one. We'll take a breather. I'll recharge. The players will too. And we're coming back with period number two right after this. Period 
and number two set to go here. Officials moments away from dropping the puck. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this game through the first 20 minutes played? Hasek's performance was outstanding in the first 20 minutes. I mean, he got shelled. He's got to be exhausted, James. His team needs to pick it up in front of him if they want to stay in this game. Here's a shot. And it's stopped by the club. Nice play there. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Minnesota's up one zip. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Into the offensive end now. The Wild have the puck in their own end. Moves it quickly over to Koivu. Uses the board with the bank pass. Intercepted. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. Tuck's got it along the wing. Easily turned aside by Talbot. Well, this is just an outstanding battle to find the puck. I mean, he's between the crease, and I don't even know how he finds this puck. He tracks it perfectly and makes the save. And gets a piece of it with the trapper. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Right up Main Street and on the attack. Here's a shot. Oh, and it just stays out as he gets a piece of it with the glove. Burns works the puck in his own zone. Heatley's gaining momentum. Icing is the call. We'll get a face off at the other end. Minnesota's been the more aggressive team offensively, and they continue to lead here in the second. And they take possession off the draw here in their own end. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Heatley. The Sabres have it from their own end. Oh, look at this. Here they come. They've got numbers. Picked up by Suter. Moves along the boards with some purpose. Sent into the offensive zone. And he lowers the boom there. Gets a little physical there with that collision. And that's knocked away. Buffalo's got the puck. Can't get a hold of that pass. Palmonville's got the puck in his own zone. Minnesota's moving it up the ice. Great pressure on the offensive end by Parisi. The Sabres move the puck in the defensive zone. Sends a pass over. Scores! And that one going off the defender for an own goal. James, how surprised do you think the goaltender is? He just spins around and tries to clear the puck and he fires it past the tender. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. The Sabres win it. Moves it to power. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Minnesota's in on the offensive attack now. The Sabres gain possession. And now he moves it quickly to Krebs. Gaining momentum up along the side. Good pass to Hogue. Just a simple save by Talbot. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. And the puck's kicked free. Directs it on over. in that last sequence, James, and he's out of gas. It didn't prevent
defend him for making that save, but now he's going to get some much-needed rest as that puck heads out of his zone. Minnesota's in now. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. Denies him in close. I absolutely hated the back end, and you can certainly tell that he has worked on this in practice a ton. He is so effective at it. He gets it off quickly, but the goalie makes the save. Zone. And that goes off the post and out. Minnesota's players getting a little frustrated. They need a little puck puck as well as they've just railed a number of them off the post. The Sabres gain possession along the wall. And the puck's not loose. Picked up along the boards by Johnson. Toss up the puck after that hit. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. Him down. A save is a save, James, and this one rattles off of his cage, and that's got to be a tough one, especially years ago. I'm telling you, the mats are a lot better today. And that carries scores! And that's his first career playoff goal, and he'll take it. Uh, he will, James, because the playoffs is just a different beast. It's not regular season anymore. You want to be an impact player. You want to make a difference, and he does tonight. Well, you don't get many odd man rushes throughout a game, James. You have to capitalize on your opportunity. I thought they executed perfectly. They didn't overpass. The right player took the right shot. Minnesota's jumped in front by a goal here late in period number two, and they have weathered the storm here, Cheryl, but they've gone in front. Well, it isn't over yet, but they certainly are in a good position with the lead heading into the intermission, James. Now it's about staying the course, playing confident, managing the puck, and getting it done. stages of this period. Minnesota's been the better looking team over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on this one goal lead. Nice job tying up his opponent. Good read with the stick to break that up. Slides the puck across to Heatley. Sorry, James. Didn't mean to step on your toes, but that was a massive hit, and now the play continues. The Sabres get a hold of the puck along the boards. Good stand-up hit. Scandella's got it in the defensive end. Takes the feed. He says, let's get physical on that play. Moves it quickly over to Thompson. Great poke check on the reach. That knocks him off the puck. Oh, he caught him. Oh, uh, and that's a thunderous hit along the boards. It's bone-crushing, James. You feel that one right from your toes all the way up to your shoulders. Talk about finishing a check. Moves it to Darlene. The Wild have it now. Scores! Off the post and in! Well, that's a real sneaky one that pulled the goaltender, James. I had not much room available, but that one, perfectly executed. I'd like to call this a quiet shot, James. What that means is the goaltender can't see it. So he's listening for it, and it buzzes right by him because he cannot catch up to it, can't find it with his eyes, and can't find it with his body. The Wild have dropped a hammer, extending the lead to two here late in the second. Well, that's going to provide a ton of energy at the back half of the second period. I mean, now they'll go into the intermission, and if they can stay the course, keep playing the consistent game that they have since the onset of this game, they should be able to close this one out. And with that, two periods now in the books. Been a great night of hockey here on EA Sports, and we got the third period coming at you in moments.
The moment of truth has arrived for both these teams. Third period action set to go. All right, the puck is dropped on the third and final frame. Cheryl, 40 minutes in the books now played. How do you view this one? The Sabres are getting goalie, James, and this can be so frustrating. You're putting a ton of shots to net. You're getting great scoring chances, but you just can't find the back of the net. Along the half wall with the puck. Lots of time left in this period. Minnesota's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Quinn's got it along the boards. Minnesota's got the puck in their own end. Here they come up along the wing. Cousins has the puck inside the defensive zone. Sends it quickly to Olsen. And that was read perfectly. What a play by Bannon. Routine save made by Hoshek. Minnesota's benefited from lots of shots on net here tonight, and they lead it early in this third period. Grandlin's won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. Turned aside with a tap by Hoshek. Reaction time is everything when you're a goaltender, and that's what you see from a young age. Them working on all of those different drills to help them with these kinds of saves. Just flash the leather and make the save. What a glove hand. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. Taken by Housley with the steal. Puck scooped up by Pominville. Can't connect good use of the body on that play. Scooped up along the wall by Parisi. With the glove, great reflexes there. Hashik's been excellent tonight, James. I mean, the score could be a lot worse. The save percentage is great. He's doing everything to keep his team in it. They need to shore up their defensive end and get going north. And they win the offensive zone face off, and here we go. And he was locked in on that save as play continues. And as play continues, this place is still buzzing, and they're getting loud here now. Wow, this is all about fan appreciation for that huge save. And man, does this ever feel good. You know, you feel it right through you when you know you've made that big save, and everyone around you is appreciative. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. It's a two-goal lead we're looking at with the score 3-1. Stalls won the draw here in the defensive zone. Burns carries the puck in his own zone. Oh, making his presence felt with the hit. He's a power forward, and part of his game is delivering and executing hits. Well, he certainly did there. Buffalo's got a hold of the puck now. They're looking to make something happen through the neutral zone now. Oh, he blocked him on the play. Oh, you know that he felt that one, James. The body is reverberating after it. What a great hit. Still lots of time left in the period. It's a 3-1 hockey game. Lots of offense already. Koivu's won the draw inside his own end. And a smart hits up play to put that away by Johnson. Angles it over to Koivu. On the attack along the boards. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Quick pass across to Jost. Quick shot. Oh, what a stop on the play. Gets all of it with the paddle. Minnesota's been the better team tonight. They have turned good defense into solid offense, and they lead here in the third. That's a smart read with the two centermen tied up. He scores! Well, how about that for the ultimate gift? Well, it's a present, that's for sure. James, get a goal on your birthday. I think it's one he'll remember. I think he makes a really good read here, James. He anticipates the play well and gets him 
himself square to the shooter, but unfortunately, this one hits him and he seems to be a little leaky because it finds its way to the back of the net. Buffalo's got to be feeling confident now getting that one back, Cheryl. And it puts a lot of pressure on the opponent, James. They've held the lead and they've given up one. Now they're within one goal, which means it's striking distance in the third period. As a defender, you know when they're coming and they got to win this faceoff and dictate the pace. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. Puck picked up by Brodie. Minnesota's through center right now in the offensive end. Here's a shot and makes the save. And now it's taken by Granlin. Oh, the thievery coming up with the puck on the play. Pushes it across to Power. Quick pass to Oposo. Pass to the point. Quick stop by Talbot. You always hear it from the opponent's side. Take away the eyes of the goaltender with the screen, and that's exactly what's happening here. But he finds a way to out-battle the screen in front and find and track the puck. Hoshik's got it, and he's going to hang on as we get a whistle. Well, he's been dialed in right from puck drop, and he has been under seas, James. Nice job to hold on to that puck. Now they can hit the reset button. More than half the frame has been played here. Buffalo's shown a new energy over these last few minutes. They got one back, but they still need one more in order to tie. Fires it on net, and that doesn't reach the net. Minnesota's got the puck along the boards. Along the wing of the neutral zone. They put the puck into the offensive end. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. I've really enjoyed this game tonight, James. It's been tight, it's been fast-paced, defensively structured, and you never know which way it's gonna end. Minnesota's attempt to put more pucks on net has paid off as they lead it in the third. They win the face-off here in their own end to take possession. Talbot's gonna hang on for a whistle. Centers get set as they're ready to drop the puck again. Collins gained possession and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. Dumps the puck in. The Sabres have it against the wall. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Right up the gut into the offensive end. Oh, he couldn't put it past. What a stop by Talbot. Well, this save looks easier than it actually is. I mean, when you have a shooter right in the slot and you know that you've got to find a way to get your glove on it, you've got to be fast, you've got to be quick and show those reflexes, he does that and makes the save. Minnesota's won the draw. Slides the puck over to Pominville. Levels them with the hit. Buffalo's got control of it now from their own end. Pours off a body. Quick feed to Skinner. Moves the puck along the half wall. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. Sometimes when you lose the puck, it's a product of trying to do too much. Sometimes keeping it simple is more effective. Buffalo's moving it into the offensive end. Shot! Oh, and that one pumps up short as he just gets enough of that one. What a fantastic save from a high-danger scoring area, James. And, I mean, he's bailing his team out. They have to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Gains the zone from the right. Quick pass to Tuck. And the save. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. The Sabres to play it from the defensive zone. With possession along the wall. Minnesota's looking to break out of their own end. Slides the puck into the offensive zone. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Moves the puck. And now it's grabbed by Quinn. Quick feed to Darlene. Moves it around along the half wall. Moves it to the middle. Off a stick and they can't complete the play. Play blown dead, let's get the call. Short-handed, down a goal here late in the third. They gotta look to be opportunistic. They gotta bring out the power kill and look to jump on pucks. Minnesota's 
power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Power plays, more time on the ice, the ability to get that puck moving. These players know exactly what they're doing. They work on it in practice. Spoke to some of them earlier today at the pregame, and they talked about the execution and the precision in particular with their puck movement. And a strong effort on that play. Well, this save was way more difficult than it looked, James. I mean, there's so much traffic in front that he's fighting through to see, and he finds the puck to make the save. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. Dishes it to Scandella. Less than 60 seconds left in regulation. Here's a blast! Denies him! He got all of it! The Sabres move it in. The Wild have gained control of the puck in their own zone. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Great oh, save! Can they capitalize on this power play? Here comes the faceoff. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. There's the whistle. We get a faceoff after the goalie covers up. Home side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. The Sabres get a hold of the puck in their own end. Here's a short pass to Paterka. Shot! Long jam in front, that's broken up. Buffalo's goalie is on the bench. The extra attacker has jumped into the play. Rocks him. Makes a move and the puck hops away from him. Healy's got a lot of flash to his game, in particular with his hands and the ability to make... A chance to end it! Scores into the empty net. Pounder, I feel like you must have had a few empty netters in your day. Oh, yeah. Listen, I was on the back end. I didn't have hands. So when I scored one, listen, I celebrated. I was down and out, <laughs> fist pumping everywhere, even when it was the empty net. On the dying moments of the game, they get the empty netter, James. And that's just a, a result of having urgency, making sure they protect the middle of the ice. And hey, they get it down the ice and get the empty netter to boot. Coyles won the draw at center. Through the neutral zone, up along the wing. Takes a shot, and he easily stops that one. That's it, there's the final horn to close this one up. An impressive team effort as they take the first one and draw the proverbial first blood in the series, Cheryl. Yeah, and that's exactly how they would have drawn it up, James. You want to make sure that you are the one that establishes the play and pace of the game right off the top, and you want to set the tone. Well, they did that, and now their opponent's squeezing their sticks a little tight. For Cheryl Pounder, I'm James Sabalski. The playoff action continues here next time, here on EA Sports.